welcome back uh, to this exciting show you know mr modi tell me one thing you know what i learned about you uh, you came from come from a middle class family you know even when you started the business at the age of uh, around 18 or 19 years you have to borrow money to redevelop an ancestral property in baroda and now you know we have delta corp in front of you how difficult was that journey or how was that journey like it was difficult is in without capital it makes it much more difficult to to uh, grow and to uh, be able to fund your your dreams so it was difficult and um, it continues to be difficult because where you want to go is always somewhere else and along the way it's never easy it wasn't easy then it isn't easy now he definitely has you know the one great thing about him is that he does things the way he wants to do things he doesn't uh, if he wants to go to the race course he's planned it he's not doing other things he he lives in the moment he lives his life the way he wants to live uh and uh, you know it's very difficult uh, all of us have compulsions all of us have uh, you know different things that we prioritize with but he genuinely lives life the way he wants to so did you had backing of anyone in terms of capital when you you know when you went from baroda to mumbai or was it yourself only you were you were plunging into something learning and then you know slowly and slowly building what you have to so it was always from debt and then finally in the early 90s mid 90s we went public that gave us some capital and then uh, it was arrow at that time and we grew the business and then we added real estate to the business and finally we split the company into two out of which uh, delta, delta corp was uh, was one of the split companies it was be merged into two businesses and uh, it's always been something um, creative and uh, it's never been easy to answer your question Okay, you know. Okay, on a lighter note, you know, some some people, you know, who don't know you very well, uh, might think you as a flamboyant personality. You know, you know, gambling, horse riding. You know, are they right in that thinking or not? Or does my question is, does it take away the management bandwidth? You know, to you focus on gambling? I'm not a flamboyant person, uh, and it's horse racing and. Uh, Uh, as a hobby it's not a it doesn't take away bandwidth because it's a weekend uh, hobby and i'm totally committed to what i do in terms of my business and my free time i do you know the rest of whatever else i want to do it doesn't take away any management bandwidth i enjoy doing it and i do only what i enjoy doing i don't do it for the flamboyance i don't i don't want to be seen as a flamboyant person at all i'm a very private person and uh, that is true sir because after chasing you for 2 years i got this interview i know that <laughs> okay tell me about uh, you know uh, zia modi ma'am you know i have heard a lot of stories that both of you were sweethearts you know since childhood what was it like did you propose her did she propose you or what was it like i i think she proposed to me <laughs> i'm sure always a story <laughs> <laughs> exactly and uh, no our fathers were friends and we know each other from the time we were kids and it's been a long journey a long time many years it's since we were 14 15 years old so yeah we had common interests we used to ride horses those days we used to stay in the same compound so it goes back a long way yeah the day they when i knew each other when we were 14 and 15 and he was the boy next door and uh, he first started uh, suggesting that he could teach me how to play cricket so even though i was least interested in cricket i started trying to learn the game and uh, then i think we just uh, grew up together we went uh, to college at the same time and i think that uh, you know developed into a relationship that has lasted us for many decades sometimes he says too long tell us about your daughters you know you are the luckiest guy to have three daughters you know so tell us about them as well you have one son right yes sir i have three girls so i think i wouldn't change it for anything else they are you know the uh, most important things in my life all three of them they're all hard working they're all good human beings and i think we brought them up okay do you gamble 
gamble. Yeah, do you gamble, you know, in, in your casino or, you know, who are you like, you know, do you gamble big stakes? No, no, I'm, like I'm not into gambling big stakes, whether it's horse racing or the casino. I'm a very, very measured gambler and uh, very small. I play a few thousand rupees here and there, but that's all. nothing <laughs> more, yeah. Okay. Okay. We also have a, you know, a rapid fire questions, you know, for you, and uh, I just want to, you to think on your toes and answer that. Okay, for us, for our audience, uh, what gives you better high? Is it gambling or horse riding? Neither. Don't give me high. I just enjoy it. It's not a high. Okay. Okay. Uh, who's better horse rider? You or Zia Modi? She's a better horse rider. She, we don't ride anymore, but she used to be a better horse rider than me. I was definitely the better horse rider. Lovely. I, I, she told me the same thing, okay? Who is your inspiration in your life? There's so many people. So many. Pick one. You know, it's, it's, it's a rapid fire. Well, Mukesh Ambani. Lovely. Who, who you aspire to be? Myself. Lovely. Best game you like in the casino, whether it's Ruli or... Pontoon. Okay. And best time pass for you will be? Horse racing. Okay. Delta in next five years? Be an international global company. Oh, that's nice to hear. Best single malt you like? Lafroy, 10 years. <laughs> Lovely. Who's your favorite horse when it comes to racing? Kwasa. He won everything, almost everything in, uh, in India in the last two years. The champion. Oh, lovely. And favorite holiday destination? Kenya. Well, those were very interesting insights into, you know, Jaydev Modi's personal life. Uh, the next segment focuses on Delta Corp's future, which you all as uh, investors will be, you know, more interested in. Uh, can Delta Corp grow into a larger company? Can they go international? Can they succeed or not? All and more on the other side of the break. Some of the funny moments is when I am distracted doing 20 things on in my life and the children and Jayadev are sitting and watching me calling somebody on the phone and starting off with a conversation which has nothing to do with that person calling somebody who calls me by the wrong name uh, they tend to tease me a lot uh, and I think their best times are when they are making a fool out of me. He used to also do horse riding and I used to also do horse riding before any relationships and I remember how he used to uh, have a very uh, favorite horse which was actually quite vicious in terms of, you know, <clears throat> really attacking people but uh, I remember some instances of that. I also remember the time when he was uh, really uh, <clears throat> wooing his now uh, present wife Zia who was then a young girl so those were some good times.